Here's your word for the day from Calvary in Lake Havasu. Visit us on the web at calvaryaz.com. Hi, I'm Christian, and I have your word for the day. Do you ever find yourself wishing for God to return and take us away from all this? In today's word for the day, we look at James chapter 5, verses 7 through 11, where he has instructions for those unhappy with their current circumstances. He lays it out right here. Starting in verse 7, he says, Be patient, therefore, brothers, until the coming of the Lord. See how the farmer waits for the precious fruit of the earth, being patient about it until it receives the early and the late rains. You also be patient. Establish your hearts, for the coming of the Lord is at hand. The farmers James is referencing here were based in Palestine, where the autumn rains typically fell right after they planted their crops. However, they needed to wait until the spring when it would rain again before harvesting the crops. Even though 75% of the rain occurred from December to February, the early and late rains were the most critical to produce what James calls the precious fruit of the earth. James goes further with instructions on how to treat each other while waiting, continuing in verse 9. It says, Do not grumble against one another, brothers, so that you may not be judged. Behold, the judge is standing at the door. As an example of suffering and patience, brothers, take the prophets who spoke in the name of the Lord. Behold, we consider those blessed who's remained, who remain steadfast. You have heard of the steadfastness of Job, and you have seen the purpose of the Lord how the Lord is compassionate and merciful. We get grumpy when we lose patience. Heck, we get cranky when we get hungry, and it happens so often that we've created a new word for it. Have you ever gotten hangry? James recognizes this, so he warns us not to grumble and complain to each other while we wait on the Lord. He is speaking to us Christians. Things go from bad to worse during periods of suffering when people turn on each other in frustration. That is why James references Job from the Old Testament. Almost everyone sees Job's story as an example of being steadfast and holding on to faith that God will do what he promises. James ends this section by acknowledging that the Lord is compassionate and merciful. So James' guidance is straightforward, but not necessarily easy. We are to wait patiently and to treat each other with kindness and respect until Christ returns when he will right all wrongs. I hope this blesses and encourages you. Have a great day.